What's going on, my pretty pandas? It's your Huggable Hipster here, and welcome back to today's podcast. Oh my god, the heater is blaring outside. Now there's noise canceling in this microphone, so I don't know if you'd be able to hear it, but if you can, I apologize in advance. So in today's podcast, we are going to be talking about cancel culture. Yes, that lovely little term that we all hype up and use whenever we don't like someone or something is so overrated it's like oh i'm canceling this i'm canceling that i'm canceling everything else it's just it's become this ugly phenomena that i feel like needs to stop also unless i have a guest on the podcast these are going to be relatively short i'm going to try to keep them relatively uh shortened in the length considering the fact that i checked out the algorithm and a lot of people stay for like three to five minutes of the podcast so (laughs) the longest i'm gonna make one is about 10 minutes long so these episodes are going to be condensed unless i have a guest on or unless you're watching markiplier jenna marbles or you know h3 h3 you're not gonna get me doing an hour-long podcast i don't think i could talk that long and have people tolerate it so with cancel culture it's very tricky because there are a lot of things that we want to do to blend in with society there are a lot of things that we want to say to show that we're hip with the kids nowadays (laughs) and for me like I'm a 26 year old woman like there are a lot of things that I know that I probably shouldn't know that probably my kids someday are going to know also hashtag I don't have kids (laughs) a lot of people think I have kids or think that I am pregnant and it's like no I just have mochi cheeks all right stop coming for me don't at me this whole idea with cancel culture is that it's the phenomena that has taken over the internet especially twitter especially youtube where we see something that we don't like that somebody does particularly a celebrity a youtuber a singer whoever maybe and we cancel them we just unfollow them we don't support them whether it be in their business what they're doing monetarily whatever it may be Now, there's one example that I can think of in particular that makes me think of the (laughs) the cancel culture as a whole and how crazy it actually is, is Shane Dawson and the whole thing of where people thought that he came on his cat. Like, what the actual hell? Like, I I even read everything to you guys of his tweets on the tea talk that I did on Friday. And so many people were asking me, well, okay, but you know, it's Shane Dawson. He's known for doing like really like out there things. And he's known for doing blackface and all that kind of thing. And it's like, people need to drop it because we, you know, us as an audience, we can't just believe anything that comes you know uh directly in front of us as news anymore we have to go to different resources we have to go and look at different sources of media to really grasp a full i don't know a full scape of everything that's going on because we can't just believe one source anymore we have to go to multiple sources in order to get any kind of facts whatsoever and even then it's going to be biased probably untrue like there's just no way of knowing the actual truth unless you talk to the person themselves uh because cancel culture i think really started with the entire logan paul thing and it's already the next year like we canceled him (laughs) we we basically took the bandage off the wound that was Logan Paul this year and said he's not going to be able to hurt us anymore. And the thing is, is that like, yeah, we did cancel him. We canceled a lot of people that, you know, that deserve to be canceled. But instead of saying cancel, how about we move to a new phrase, just not even a phrase even, we can just say, oh, I don't support this person anymore. Instead of saying that, oh, I just, I'm, I'm canceling you. Like, because that just sounds like, oh, you you know, you're abolishing them. You don't realize that they exist. You're not like, no, I, I just, I, I just know I'm not, I'm not even paying any attention to you. It's so fake. It's so shallow and pedantic because every time that you say this person's canceled, so they're out of my life, you're broadcasting the fact that you don't like this person because of dot, dot, dot. So then other people get corrupted in the sense that they shouldn't like this person and then the next person who sees the next tweet of a retweet from you saying your thought about not liking a person corrupts the next mind and saying that oh they shouldn't like that person now and it becomes this entire thread and melange of people who like a person but they don't know why they don't know why they don't like that person they just heard from some you know some schmuck on twitter saying oh i don't like this person because of this and this and this and then the message of why they didn't like the person in the first place gets distorted it gets changed it gets kind of muddied out and you know people are like well what was the original reason why we didn't like this person to begin with is it because of this or is it because of this 
Are the reason that people not liking Shane Dawson is because that he used to do blackface or is it because of the, you know, that he said as a joke in an interview that, you know, he came on his cat? But like, you know, what is it? People have to make up their minds. And yeah, the fact that he said that, I, I like I said previously a million times, it's gross and disgusting, the fact that he said that. But the fact that uh, he allows his mind to not think 10 steps ahead, it, you know, that, that that's a bit worrisome to me. But also, you know, again, he's playing off the fact that he was doing shocking things for shock value. So one thing I do have to say that might trigger a few people <laughs> on the topic of cancel culture is that these people aren't going to go away. The people that you are quote unquote canceling, they're not going anywhere, honey. They're here to stay. The fact that you canceled PewDiePie doesn't mean anything. The fact that you canceled Shane Dawson doesn't mean anything. The fact that you cancel, dare I even say it, Logan Paul does not mean anything. As unfortunate as that is, it does not mean anything. These people are still going to be here. These people are still going to be making their existence known. Now, you guys know my stance on Logan Paul. I can't stand the dude. But PewDiePie and Shane Dawson, I like them. They're awesome people who have contributed a lot to society, who have contributed a lot in their time of living so far, a lot to charity, a lot to help people like themselves better. And I can say that from experience watching these people. Like, I used to have extreme depression. I used to have, oh gosh, extreme anxiety, which I still do to a certain extent. Like, yesterday I had such a bad anxiety attack. It was so bad. Now, whether it be, you know, watching someone on YouTube like Markiplier or PewDiePie or even Jacksepticeye or, um, you know, or taking prescribed medication or, uh, you know, being with family members or having that laughter is kind of a placebo effect to get you through the next moment. Even if you don't believe that you're happy, tricking your brain into laughing is probably one of the best things ever because it gets you to a point of where, you know, you'll laugh at the stupidest shit. You'll laugh at like the funniest things. So that's what I'm saying. You know, the entire cancel culture thing is a phase you're gonna get over it and people are going to be moving on to the next thing that quote unquote cancels people, whether it be, I don't know, the annihilation culture. <laughs> Can we make that a thing, please? The annihilation culture. I'm gonna tell you guys something really brief. Whenever I was going through uh, a breakup, it was two and a half, almost, what, three years ago now that I went through this breakup and, you know, he was my best friend. He was someone that I trusted with my whole heart and you know, we were only, we were friends for a while, and then we decided, hey, you know what, let's just go out. But we didn't actually say it, we just assumed <laughs> that we were going out. It's really, it was really weird. And uh, it only lasted for a month, and then after that month, I found out that he had cheated on me. And then um, I went into a very bad depression after that. I just didn't know who I was anymore, because stupidly, I put the value of myself in that relationship, if that makes sense. So, you know, and girls, don't ever do this to yourself. And guys, please, d girls and guys, don't, don't ever do this to yourself. Don't value yourself based on your relationships. It's just the worst way to live. And, you know, it ruins your self-esteem, it ruins your dignity, it ruins absolutely everything. So, whenever I was going through that, um, it, this, oh gosh, the breakup happened, like, right before I was graduating, like, a month before I graduated. So, uh, I was planning to live in Pennsylvania, but then I was like, now I want to move back home because, you know, at this point, um, I was recovering from drinking a lot. I had quit cold turkey. I had stopped smoking pot. And I had realized that, you know, it just wasn't a life for me. And by the way, this links back to canceled culture. So just, you know, hold your panties on. <laughs> um, but then I saw a couple of videos from different gamers you know, a few of them PewDiePie, a few of them Jacksepticeyes. I was like, oh, he's really good. And I always had it in the back of my mind that I wanted to do YouTube. And I thought, you know, okay, you know, let me just look up some more. And then in my, uh, like, what is it? Like the recommended section of where you have your recommended videos on the side. And then in the corner in the recommended videos, it had a video of Markiplier's. And I remember seeing a video of him <laughs> explaining, you know, how to be famous on YouTube. And it wasn't the typical, you know, you gotta look at the algorithm, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Um, it, it was one of those things where it gave me the metaphorical kick in the ass to get things going and try YouTube because I, at this point, you know, I was graduating with a, a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. I was like, you know what? Let me try to do this. Let me try to make YouTube work. Let me make it a thing. And um, 
it's almost three years now that we've had this channel and I have almost 2,000 subscribers, <laughs> 2,000 beautiful pandas. And, um, you know, I never would have done that if I hadn't gotten that metaphorical kick to the ass <laughs> by Mark Plyer. So Mark, if you're watching this or listening rather, <laughs> I can't see my face. Uh, thank you very much for giving me that boost that I needed. And so many people say that we have to cancel those who have done crappy things in their past. So that, the reason why I bring up this story is because will I get canceled if I ever get big enough? I don't think that's ever going to happen, by the way. Um, if I ever get big enough to where I have, like, let's say a million subscribers, are people going to dig through my past and see that, oh, she used to drink. Oh, she used to be an alcoholic. She used to smoke pot and all that kind of stuff. You know, do I, you know, we have to cancel this girl. You know, it's like, you know, is that going to happen over something so small and minute? And it really puts things into perspective when you're the one who's dealing with it, where you have to really take yourself and put yourself in the shoes of the person who is dealing with being canceled. Now, with the entire thing with Shane, with the entire thing with PewDiePie, are we really going to cancel someone over being human? Are we really going to cancel someone over something that they did that was stupid and now they're learning from, which is everybody. We all make crap mistakes. We all do things that are not beneficial to who we are, but we, we do it at the time because we think, oh, maybe I'll get this reaction. Maybe this will be more beneficial for me. Maybe this will help me in the long run. When really, we realize it's a shit decision to make and we should never have done it in the first place. So the point that I'm trying to get at is with us saying that we're going to cancel PewDiePie with us saying that we're going to cancel these different YouTubers, Shane Dawson, you know, uh, others and everything who actually there are more YouTubers that deserve to get canceled, by the way, than others. Just saying we're demeaning ourselves and we're demeaning our credibility as people because we're not allowing humans to be humans. We're not allowing people to have the freedom to screw up, you know, and it's it's really sad because all of us screw up. All of us do. And the fact that we're not allowing content creators, the people that put a smile on our face and quite frankly, you know, <laughs> save us on the daily basis, we're not allowing them to be human. Like that's, you know, that's really kind of hypocritical of us. So we're not going to allow a person to go through the same emotions that we do. We're going to cancel a person just because they, they may have said something wrong. They may have done something and then, oh, you know, they learned from it. They did something stupid again and then they learned from it again. That's a process of being human. That's a process of understanding our own brains and our own, you know, the whole, our own whereabouts in this universe and saying that, okay, um, I can't do that. That was bad. Let me learn about it the next time. Let me try something better. Let me do this over and over again until I finally get being human right. But yeah, that was that was what I wanted to talk about. And I know I went on a bit of a, a rant, but these podcasts are more or less rants than anything. I want to talk about the cancel culture because it's something that really honestly, it, I don't know, it, like Peter Griffin says, it grinds my gears. You know, and the thing is, is that don't cancel someone unless it's actually, you know, warranted. Like, uh, go ahead, cancel Logan Paul. Please feel free to cancel him. I don't, you know what? That, that would be good for humanity. Just completely cancel cancel that guy. Take away his YouTube channel. Take away it all because honestly, that, oh god, he needs, he just needs a lesson. He needs a lesson in humanity. <laughs> but can't sleep PewDiePie and Shane Dawson over their human mistakes, uh, you know, really doesn't do anybody any good. But yeah, this was this week's podcast. If you guys like what I do, if you like these podcasts, if you like my videos, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell down below because I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and these podcasts are every other Saturday, but I couldn't do that yesterday because there was construction work going on. Stay casually nerdy, you guys, and I will see you all in tomorrow's video, which is the second episode of Fran Bow. Peace.